What is it? What's the matter? You killed Imogene! How? What'd I do? You ate her! You ate her? I did not eat her! She was sitting on the cookie and you ate her! Oh, come on. Do it, do it! Oh, oh, Grace, Grace, look, she spat her out. There she is, Imogene's fine. Yeah, she's not dead, she's just a little stunt. You okay, honey? <laughs> Do something. Well, what should I do? CPR? Come on, Imogene. King me. Who's she talking to? No one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, I'll do it myself. Submit it for your approval. A girl who has a friend who isn't there. <laughs> An imaginary friend. Here in the Gracie Zone. <laughs> Give her a break. She's only six. When she invites an imaginary guy to the prom, we'll stop worrying. I win. Run, play hide and go seek. Okay, you hide. Where'd she go? She is good. Gracie, woohoo, honey. Maybe we should all play a game together now. You know, like go fish or my favorite, old maid. Shut up, exactly. Brighton. <laughs> Toll House cookies? Because you eat now and you pay later. <laughs> no, they grow dough. It'll make you sick. Oh, that's not true. Grown ups just say that. Why? More dough for them. Grown ups lie sometimes. You know, you don't really have to wait an hour before you go into the pool. Oh, unless you've eaten my mother's cookie, then you gotta wait a week. <laughs> no, Imogene's sitting there. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. I'll sit here. No, now she's sitting there. Oh, she's a zippy little thing, isn't she? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, sure. What? She wants to sit on the counter. What are you doing? She's only this big. She's only this big and she's causing me this much trouble? Here, get in the teacup. <laughs> she's bored. She's bored? Oh, here. <laughs> She just went to Disneyland. Hi, Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, don't eat raw dough, it'll make you sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> the eggs are pasteurized. Here, live it up. Take a fingerful. Mmm, very tasty. You know it. So, what do you ladies do today? We shop till we drop. <laughs> she tried on every pair of shoes and didn't buy a thing. I made a salesman cry. <laughs> I'll tell you, she's got a real gift. Well, I have to say, Miss Fine, cutting down on her therapy seems to have done some good. Well, you know what they say. Who needs Freud when you've got Ferragamo? <laughs> I think I should put out a shingle. Stop! What, what, what is it? What's the matter? You killed Imogene! How? What'd I do? You ate her! You ate her? I did not eat her! She was sitting on the cookie and you ate her! Oh, come on. Do it, do it! Oh, oh, Grace, Grace, look, she spat her out. There she is, Imogene's fine. Yeah, she's not dead, she's just a little stunt. You okay, honey? <laughs> Help her! Do something! Well, what should I do, CPR? CPR, CPR, right, CPR, over here. Well, I've only done it on a dummy. I hope I know, what am I saying? Say, <laughs> turn, she's turning off! All right, all right, the first thing we have to do is clear the air passageway. There, throat's clear. That wasn't her throat. <laughs> All right, you wash your hands later. Keep going. Wait, now, now I have to breathe in her mouth. Oh, this is her mouth. I'll pump her little heart. Don't break. Don't break her ribs. She's not breathing. Oi, okay. Ah, I'm getting a pulse. Oh, look, she's coming around. Well, she's a bit disheveled, but she's a plucky one. I pulled through! We've done it! Yay! Yay! It's too late. She's gone. This is terrible. I'll say my malpractice insurance is going to skyrocket. Oh, well, it was an accident. I'm telling you, I didn't eat anyone. You know what? I sort of liked having a baby in the house, except I had no idea how much work they were. Mm. And they're always making a mess. You know what, Niles? On second 
Captain Black, could you bring these upstairs so we can watch some TV? Thanks. I have two words for you. Hansel and Gretel. Actually, that's three words. <laughs> oh, my. Would you look at this mess? I'm binging. I'm a little depressed about giving back the baby. Oh, well, sweetie, we had to give him back. He wasn't ours. That's right. He, he didn't belong to our family. Oh. Then why don't you two make a baby? Take it away, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> well, um, I mean, we'd have to be... Well, you know, you have to be married first, Oh, Grace. right, married. Yeah, there has to be an engagement. I'd and... want a big ring, a uh... party. Don't ask. <laughs> then why don't you two get married? <clears throat> I took the last one. Thanks. Well, you have to be in love with the person. Don't you love Fran? Yeah, don't you love Fran? <laughs> well, in a nanny, friend, boss type of way. Yeah, and I love your father in that thanks a lot, you British cold fish type of way. But you could have a baby and get married if you wanted to. Well, uh, we'd have to be best friends to see if we can live together. And, of course, there'd have to be a very strong physical attraction. Would you go to bed? Sheesh. Kids, huh? <laughs> Always uh, asking questions. And such vivid imaginations. Oh, why is the sky blue? Where's heaven? Why don't you and I have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I wonder if I'll ever be a mother. Oh, there's always a subway, Miss Fife. <laughs> I get it. Next time I bring home a baby, it's going to be after nine months of swollen ankles and an epidural that could bring down secretariat. You know, the further back I go into this family tree thing, the creepier it gets. Did you know that Great Uncle Philip beheaded Great Aunt Isabel? You know, the same thing happened in my family, too. It was a bad combination of car sickness and an electric sunroof. And Cousin Rupert the first married his sister. Oh, now that's creepy. <laughs> That was never proven. It was just a rumor. Meanwhile, I'm sure their kids played one hell of a banjo. Good morning. Oh. oh, honey, tell your father the good news. Oh, yeah, there's four great movies at the Cineplex. No, honey. The other news. We paid for one and snuck in three. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, tell your father who's coming over after school. Oh, yeah, I've got a new friend. <laughs> and does this friend exist outside of your mind? <laughs> Brighton. Does she, sweetheart? <laughs> of course she does. Gracie has grown and matured since I've been imparting my wisdom on her. Honey, don't wipe your nose with your hand. Use your sleeve. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, the doctor called to confirm your 3.30 appointment. Mm. Thank you. And? Happily married, not Jewish, wears Birkenstocks. <laughs> Why are you going to the doctor? Is everything OK? Just getting a physical and a stress test. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got a cousin. Oh, We're... God, she's got a cousin. <laughs> Shall I push your appointment back an hour, sir? Huh? All I'm saying is that you can never be too careful. My cousin Reed, 35, worked out every day. No salt, no sugar, walks out of a health food store, bam, dead. Mm. Heart attack? No. Gets hit by a wheat germ truck. <laughs> no? And the moral of this story is... Everything has to have a moral? What am I, Mother Goose? You're involved in a dysfunctional relationship. I know the kind. All his friends are more important to him than you are. He's selfish. You should just dump him. She can't. He's got all of her stickers. Oh. Home! Oh, V, wait a second. Come here and say hello to your sister's friend, Erica. Hi, I'm Brighton. <laughs> Okay, so, um, I'm gonna go get a soda now. Me too. He's a god. <laughs> Erica likes Brighton. She really is on the rebound. <laughs> oh, honey, to you, he's an obnoxious brother, but to other little girls, he's 79 pounds of pure stud muffin. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Next thing you know, she'll let him play with her pogs. <laughs> Well, look, if she's that fast and loose with her pod, she's gonna get a reputation. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, 
Nothing. I was just thinking of that hysterical J.J. Walker impression you do. You know, you should really do that for the sorority party. Oh, you mean, I don't mind. <laughs> stop, stop. You're gonna peak too soon. Oh. Bring a geek party, right? <laughs> I remember well. Mm, this baby brought me home gold. <laughs> oh, Gracie. I'm sorry, honey. They didn't have your choice of secrets and lies at the video store. But I got your second choice, Operation Dumbo Drop. That was your choice, Fran. <laughs> I know. I'm just a little depressed and kind of needed an upper. <laughs> Oh, sweetie, this is a grown-up problem, and you're a little girl. My daddy doesn't like me. Let me. Yeah. All right, honey, talk to me. <laughs> Hi, what's wrong with this picture? You mean because you're the adult and I'm the child? No, I mean because you didn't bring a fork. <laughs> the other thing's true, too. So what happened with your father? Oh, well, you know, he doesn't approve of the relationship between me and your daddy. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know what me and your father have together. I don't know what we... Why, have you heard anything? <laughs> You're a grown woman. You're over. Five feet tall. <laughs> Why is it so important what your father thinks? He's always finding fault with everything I do. I mean, I can never please the man. Fran, what does Dr. Miller say when you talk about your father in therapy? Mm, I haven't even finished talking about when my mother took me trick-or-treating Halloween dressed as Catwoman. <laughs> Why she had a black latex bodysuit hanging... Oh, well, I guess that's none of my business either. Come on, you want to watch a little of All My Children? Gee, I hope it was okay to tape it over this movie tape. Brighton learns to walk. Isn't that funny? I never even heard that name, Brighton, until I started working... <gasps> Who's up? Wow, you guys really nodded off. Can we go see The Lion King again? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You're a little late. The two of you slept right through the last show. Besides, I got hakunas coming out of my matatas. <laughs> it's only playing at one theater? Yes, all the parents got together and insisted. <laughs> well, come on, don't go anywhere. We're gonna watch all my children. Hey, listen, I haven't seen this soap in seven months. Catch me up. Well, they're still at Erica's party. <laughs> and the new guy slept with what's her face's sister. P.S. She's late, which means she's pregnant. <laughs> Did you hear what they said? What? I was late for the Lion King because we slept together. So? So? P.S. I'm pregnant! <laughs> I better get a job. <laughs> I brought you some pickles and ice cream. I'm so nauseous and my ankles are swollen. <laughs> I hate you! You did this to me! I know. I just wish I knew how. I'm just so worried. Are we doing the right thing, bringing a child into this world? Boy, could those kids play house or what? <laughs> Kids, what are you two still doing up? Niles was supposed to put you to bed an hour ago. <laughs> Niles! Huh? Oh, this is not my fault. Yeah. They gave me turkey. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Nine minus seven. Uh, two. Well, what are you doing? I'm timing her subtractions. <laughs> Three seconds. It's time! Oh, no! We can't have the baby now! I don't know how to get to the hospital! Stop it, honey, honey, calm down. Gracie, you're not really having a baby, honey. 
But you said when two people sleep together and the girl is late. Well, I was late for the Lion King. Aye, that's what you were listening to? Don't put peas up your nose. I have to say nine times. <laughs> Sweetie, you are definitely not pregnant. And if you were, we were calling Geraldo immediately. <laughs> I'm not? No. <sighs> Thank God. I'd like to get a figure before I lose it. <laughs> Come on, you two. It's time for bed. Boy, you two are just so cute. You go upstairs and have sweet dreams. Uh, Willie. You sleep in Brighton's room. 